On my mama, man, size 16 is hard to cop. It's boat kicks. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bo Kicks. Back with another unboxing here. Um, by the title of the video, you know it's a Reebok question. And your boy, James Harden. I guess I think it's a Reebok question. Man, this, this came from StockX. Funny story. Sometimes with sneakers, you can be a little too thirsty. With this particular release, I was thirsty. Went on Reebok.com, a night of release, and um, went out for this sneaker. Surprisingly, this went up to like a 17 too. Oh, I was kind of shocked. I still got it in a 15. I don't know. Old Harvitz. Old Habits Harvitz. Old Habits uh, Die Hard. Um, Y'all know we don't got no need for this, so we gotta get it up out of here. Okay, um, but old habits die hard. The one out for a 15, cause I didn't mind the fit on these. You know, they fit with the insole in. Um, but it is the Harden Reebok Question Mid Iverson OG meets OG or OG versus OG. Like I said, in a size 15. See the special Harden logo and the Irish logo on the on the box there. On this side, Reebok logo in the corner. This is a Reebok slash Adidas collab, and the Adidas logo is on that side. Apparently, Adidas bought Reebok. I wasn't aware of this shit. Did y'all know? Uh, I think a lot of people did. I did not. But when I offered this shoe, took an L in my size. Um, they all sold out. Coming on StockX, I normally do. Seen them. They was kind of overpriced. That's another thing I, I paid over retail. They was kind of overpriced. So I said, I don't want to pay that. I'll put a bid in for what I will pay. Now, we ain't going to discuss that. But I put the bid in. And then I said, man, I, I think I bid a little bit too much, so I'll put another bid in. Well, it didn't cancel the old bid. <laughs> it kept it out. And then um, it accepted it and it accepted a new one in like, I don't know, 10 minutes. It didn't even give me a chance to change it. So I reached out to StockX, tried to get it changed. And when they reached back out to me, they had waited like a damn week. And told me I couldn't change it. Uh, what? Uh, told me I couldn't change it, so I ended up stuck. Like Chuck. Let's get into this thing real, real quick. Okay. My daughter's actually in here asleep. I'm surprised she didn't wake up yet. Everybody kept telling me how plush this leather is, and like instantly, as soon as you touch it, you feel how soft it is. This like. This like a BBW OnlyFans big booty, voluptuous booty, softness. Like this is, yeah, it's butter soft, bro. Like as soon as you, let's see, let, let's go from this side to this side on this toe cap. Hella soft and the black leather. It's hard to explain, babe. Feel this. Feel this leather. Where's the toe cap? We're gonna have both bay check it out. Okay. Is that not some of the softest leather you've got on a pair of shoes before? Don't sleep on this pair. I might That's end up good. keeping the other pair. This this motherfucker's so soft. It's got some flaws in it though. She hates the, the question me, by the way. She says they're oogly. That's O-O-G-L-A-Y. Oogly. They fucking ugly is what she says but i love the question mid and anyways set this one down here let's get into it Ooh, it is a couple little flaws here and there but god damn this leather yeah bottom of the sole all white sole why Reebok? why'd you do that you got a red uh, vector Reebok logo there Reebok going straight down 
over that tread. You can peek into this little window here. I've done this a few times now. You see that, uh, that hex like technology there. Fake hex like I've heard. Anyways, um, roll into the midsole. Kind of like a, it looks off white. It doesn't look white like you would think, but it kind of looks off white. But we'll, we'll say white just, just to say it. Hex like there with black behind the honeycomb system, blah, 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 blah. A little bit, some glue issues on this pair. I'm not tripping hard, but come on, they could have did a little better. Uh, this panel here on the upper going up, all black baby soft leather. In fact, this, this panel, this panel, and this panel, all baby soft. This here is soft, but it's a little, it's like a different leather, to be honest. You know, I like it though. Rolling over to the toe cap. Buttery, baby soft, white leather. Um, extra wrinkles in here, I kind of don't like that. But, you know, we'll work with it. It's just, it's hella soft ass leather, man. Um, going all the way up the tongue premium soft and a lot of times for the tongue you'll get like mesh and then leather on top this is all the way leather hella soft soft leather at the top black um, rope laces with little you know red accents on that thing the Reebok Vector logo at the very tip top right there uh, that's fire to me uh, if you look inside the shoe red sock liner kind of like a, a real nice nylon of the middle medial uh, I thought was fire this red I seen a guy on uh, GZ uh, 2.3 uh, he did a review on this where he, he his opinion was that the red should have been on the outside too. I, I agree. It shouldn't have been all blacked out. It should have had this red. That's a dope highlight. Leather soft steel. Black vector symbol there. Fire. Everything else y'all see is appropriate. Oh, small, small hit too. Harden. Written in these little lace loops. Or yeah, lace loops basically. Going all the way up to the tongue. On the other side. Things hardened going all the way down. No, I don't say nothing. Okay, so on the inside of the shoe, that's kind of dope. The outside remains just regular question. So I'm with that. Uh, back of the shoe, you got the question logo here. It's like rubber instead of stitch. A lot of times that's stitched, but rubber instead of stitch. You got a nice glossy leather here. Also, hella soft. I mean, this leather, man, is something to be, like, really spoken on, man. I, I've heard a couple of guys' reviews so far, and I can't say enough how premium this leather feels. Go out and get a pair while it's still out there. This going to be one of the ones that go down in history. Fire pair. Um, the hard logo at the back here. And a lot of times this is stitched, too, but this is just kind of, like, I guess, embossed and painted over dope here can't say enough how far these are and move that to the side because again like I said I accidentally did on two um, it's more than likely I'll select keeping the one with the best um, condition less flaws blah 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 i did talk to my folks uh brandon from bd kicks kc i told him i would give him a pair for retail but last time i checked to see if these were still in stock i did find them on east bay and damn near a full size run and if i did give them to him i'd have to probably drop it ten dollars on the retail just to get some of my money back and you know you can't beat the homie like if he decided to take them off my hands and he can go somewhere else and get them for retail if i'm going to tax him i can't really so there's that if the camera shakes my daughter's waking up so that's that too but i believe she's a part of bulk gang 
so she won't let daddy do her, her video. Ain't that right, baby? Shout out to you. Anyway, same size, size 15. These are in better shape than the other. Oh, yeah. Baby, look how much better the presentation is on this. This the one. Sorry, Brandon. Uh, still pillowy soft. Still pillowy soft, bruh. These fucking nice. It's less imperfections on this pair. Both pair are dope, but god damn. Yeah. I don't even, I really don't have to go into this pair. Because, again, y'all seen it here. You know, I, I wonder why these are so goddamn stepped on. Well, I can't say it's stepped on, but they got like pre creases. Like, you see how that one comes? Sorry, Brandon, but. <laughs> If you decide to pick them up, I mean, I could always throw them back to StockX because this is a premium. When these are all gone and they're not sitting in stores anymore, I think they will fetch a pretty penny just because the quality is so great. The colorway is fire. The nylon, like I said, inside the sock liner, they did the damn thing with these. See how that look? You know, this one, not so bad, but on the inside, you see a crease there. These is both dope though. I, if I had to, I'd keep these. I'd send these away. Um, there is another pair of Reebok Question Hardens that's supposed to drop, I think, either on the 1st or the 2nd of September. It's a crazier colorway though. It's like all over silver. Babe, it's time for you to go to work? No. You need to go to work and get that cheddar so I can put it back in my bank account. And get some more ugly ass shoes. You know what I mean? <laughs> Anyways. So, uh, I'm, I'm just fucking with it, of course. But anyways, uh, but all over like silver colorway, um, navy blue, red, um, crazy, crazy, crazy concept for this shoe and colorway for this shoe. But if they end up putting that same amount of quality that they did on these, it might be, it might be something doable. I do think that pair will sit though, just because it is so crazy. Or maybe it'll fly just because it's it's something nobody anticipates. But that that pair, which uh, does have you know uh, that old Rockets, not not the throwback Rockets jersey, but you know the old navy blue one with Steve Francis back in that era. It's got that that kind of vibe going to it. So um, they doing Hardens questions with top-notch priority probably adidas because he is an adidas athlete but y'all need to do another pair for uh, ai so anyway wish they do and that might be coming soon uh and to the next one y'all thank you for checking out the video um comment down below if you pick them up man if you if you have any you see them you go to the mall you see them in the store do yourself a favor, just ask them if you get see a pair or try a pair on. Tell them you, you want to see a pair. And touch the leather, bro. I promise you, it's probably the softest leather I felt on any pair of shoe, shoes this year. No cap. Until next time, it's your boy Bo Kicks. And you know the slogan, why we are.